it's Natalie and I have an unboxing for Not Just Your Voice Cook Club today. Um, let's see what's inside. Lots of goodies and goodness. Have a fun little twine that I always like to save. Mmm, what we got here? Good stuff. Let's see. Sorry, I had to turn it off to go look up the names. <laughs> the kids um let's go in seasonal order all right so this is the limitless kit for november and it is called november rain so super fun um again a unique color palette they're really great at putting kits together uh, um not just for boys clip club so man this paper is hilarious because it reminds me so much of a heidi swap I have a whole collection i had of hers a bazillion years ago um and i used it so much i don't even know what it was called but i'm loving this so um we've been real heavy on the paper rose um brand lately and i'm loving it paper rose is from australia super into it so this is fun so the the vibe is like orange and blue which is a really cool um color palette for fall that's also my high school colors. Um, so this is again, Blueprints by Paper Rose. I love that. Oh, I love this though too. It's like a nice brown, like a very good solid background. And then you have a textures with some wood and some icy white, maybe even blue. Um, it probably depends on what you pair with it. And a really fun like linen on the back. And then you have a lime green. This is 49 and Market. Grove paper. Oh, this is from their color swatch collection. And then a lovely lime. I love me some lime green. So I told you it was orange and blue, but I mean, that's green, obviously. <laughs> a paper rose, little adventure, some good stripes there. And then a nice gingham. Nice. A lovely watercolors neutral. It's a really nice brown to um, orange background paper. Ooh, but that's fun too. I love green, so um, green always calls to me. We have a cut apart page from Simple Stories. It's Acorn Lane. Um, love in this vibe. Ooh, really nice. A lovely leaf paper with some golden and some, um, I guess you would call that like well, fossilized amber is the distressed oxide I would match with it. Um, an orange, a brown, and then a really lovely blue. I don't know what color you would call that. What is it? Um, oh, I can't think of the right word. British type of dishes or something. It'll hit me. Um, this is great. A textures is paper rose again with some brick and some blue brick and a really nice textured um, wood grain. This is fun. I'm gonna call paper rose again, but it's missing its strip. So maybe not, it feels similar though. I think it is. That's funny, it's missing its strip. But um, I don't know, it might, it probably has the same texture. Really cool, orange and white is very balls. <laughs> it's got those balls. And then a black. And then this one is a winter woodland plaid with the light blue and the dark blue. And then the smaller plaid on the other side. So maybe I lied when I said it was orange and blue, but I mean, it is though, right? Like that was just the vibe I got when I was looking online um, at the pictures, but it's actually kind of got plenty of green and yellow in it as well. So a really good mix of like I think, you know, that's orange or blue. But then you also like throw in the green too, which I love. What else came in the November Rain Limitless Kit? Let's find out. So we have another paper rose stencil, which is fabulous. We've got lots of gears and like some fun measurement kind of things. Very abstract, I'm, I'm digging that. And we have some lovely thickers. Oh, sorry, not thickers. These are Puffy Alphas from Pink Fresh. These are called Chrysanthemum and they're really lovely. Lime green, I love me some lime green, y'all. And then lastly, you get a Farmstead Harvest um, ephemera pack. So let's just look through it real quick. Um, well, we won't even open these. These are some vellum and really lovely, but we will open these real quick. You can kind of see in the back. So this is like the more of a, a tag collection, it seems. Like not so many on the icons. Got some tickets. Got a fox, Lachlan loves foxes. So lots of tickets, those are real cute. Um, just lots of tags and um, 
badges, if you will, some banners, blessings. We got some gold foil, which I love. Gather together, fall greetings. You can make some cards. These can be um kind of they're perforated, so they can be split up. I love the little houses in this collection. Thankful for you. Um, some just more tags and stuff. You could do a lot um, with like repeating images of tags and stuff. So that's fun. Oh, look how tiny those are. Those are super cute. Loving it. Oh, these two. What are these? They're so tiny. Super cute. I love that it's not pumpkin heavy because I mean, don't get me wrong. I love some pumpkins and there are pumpkins, but sometimes it's just like too many pumpkins, I think. And this is just the right amount of pumpkins. I'm into this Farmstead Harvest collection from American Crafts. They did a really good job. I feel like on these last unbranded collections, I say unbranded, I mean, they're American Crafts fan, but they're not like a specific designer and I'm here for it. So I won't put all that stuff away um, in the interest of time just yet um but i will show you the next section which is the holiday baking page kit um and it's so cute y'all and i feel like i do normally take some cute photos of my sons and me baking and doing cute things but i almost never scrap them so it'll be fun to kind of be inspired to do those um but also we always used to get together for baking days when i was a kid with my grandma and my mom and her sisters and those are always some really great memories and i think that it would be fun to dig in and kind of do those as well so you have a cut apart but it's tag cut aparts and we had some of these back in one of the page kits this was summer and I loved using the little tags on a 12 by 12 layout but also it'd be really good for like a December daily if you do that and the other side is really blank so if you want to use them for journaling and this side has the icons love it super cute simple stories baking spirits bright huh <laughs> get it cute so um I think they're all Oh, no, not really. So this is Simple Stories, but it's a different collection. And it's called What's Cooking? And this is called Lick the Spoon. But, I mean, it goes so well, doesn't it? Like that teal, turquoise, green, whatever color you want to call it. That's a plaid. And then a really lovely flower on the other side. That is so cute. And then this one is Baking Spirit Sprite again. And it is all the, like, cooking accoutrement. The uh, activity. The nine ingredients. Well, some ingredients. And then just, like... The supplies you need and then a fine cut apart on this side with different sizes of cut aparts and then another baking spirit sprite with a pink gingham which i really love that pop pop of pink and then the pop of like turquoise teal and then cakes and pies super cute and this is another what's cooking and it has some florals on that one and then a lovely little yellow which is kind of a new introduction from what I see on the other pages. So that would be fun to kind of add in, but it goes with the florals on that page. So I like that they mimicked that and added another piece to go with the yellows. And then you get the, the white because of course, um, Meredy makes a page um, that you can copy or you can follow us for the inspo as well. You get these lovely thickers. These are warm and cozy thickers. Um, and they're just red and green. Really good size, I love that. That's a good size. You also get these foam stickers from Simple Stories. These are Hearth and Holiday. So again, another holiday collection, but it's going really well with the vibe. Um, and a lot of just like holiday sayings for Christmas and not even necessarily Christmas, like celebrate or frosty, but mostly Christmas. Magic, I mean, that can be uh, Disney or whatever. So these are so cute, I just die. So these, oh, never mind. we'll get into those in a second. So these are part of the kit. These are the bits and pieces collection from the What's Cooking. So this is not the Christmas one. This is the just regular cooking collection, but the, the colors all go with the Christmas one, which I really like. So you have, I mean, who doesn't have this? I have this, I pull my stuff out of it all the time. There are, um, I love their bits and pieces from Simple Stories. They're the perfect size and so fun to just like mix and match. And I love to pop them up, um, placemat. I love the little houses, super cute eggs and mixers i love to use my mixer um so while it is not christmas themed it is very homey and warm and so once you just add in those other christmas elements boom it's christmas or boom it's not if you don't want it to be christmasy you know if you have baking photos from different time of the year 
You have a piping bag and little hearts. Oh, they're so cute. You even have pumpkins. Love it, because it's very cozy. Look at those glasses, that's so cute. And a house, and an armoire, and a better home. <laughs> Best homes and gardens. Who didn't have this cookbook, right? Everybody's Nana has that cookbook. <laughs> Oh, look at the pink tree. I'm loving this. So it almost makes me wonder. I think it's almost like a fall collection, maybe. I don't even know that I've paid attention to this collection before. It's super cute. For the fall trees, though. And then some florals, even. And then look at that cute red fridge. I wish. And a lovely little stove. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Okay. So as an add-on, an all cart. And, and I think you can get it in the... Um, well, anyway, it's all a cart. And these little gingerbread men. And I wasn't sure what they were made of, but I was like, give them to me. <laughs> so I will say they are wood, but they're almost like printed on. Super cute. Um, so they, I guess you get maybe four of each color. Maybe not. Maybe they're just like in a random assortment. Um, but you have some that are yellow and some that are green and a purple and a blue so they'll go with this collection but they could also go with others and then they're almost a button so that's what they are they're buttons so you can put your twine that came in your packaging um and help kind of wrap those up and attach them to something those are so cute i can't wait to use those for christmas layouts all right and just real quick we will go into the cardstock cuts I won't even take them out. This one says holiday baking. Obviously, it goes with the baking collection. Sorry if you hear the sounds. My kids are home. And this gorgeous wreath is an autumn wreath, but it has a lovely bow. Um, it has some acorns. I think that's really the only thing that makes it autumn. So, really, it could be Christmas, depending on what colors you put with it. And then, lastly, you have an autumn banner here um, with lovely little Polaroids and then the cute little autumn bits. So, um, I do want to say this is going to be my last, um, package from not just her boys on their design team. Anyway, um, I've really enjoyed working with them over the past year and a half and they're super talented. I'm still a fan. Um, they're just taking a little bit of a different direction, but I can't wait to see what they come up with in the new year and make sure you come back and see what I make with these kits. I'll link down below to their store and let me know if you have any questions. Bye y'all.